some of the most renowned super yachts in the world are owned by a number of incredibly rich ladies. Women typically choose super yachts that are different from those owned by men, which is shown in a higher focus on sustainability, livability, and a comfort on board. Can you believe it? Is it worth it? Well, let's find out together. Don't skip, watch the full video to the end because it's crammed with mind boggling super yachts that super women own. Welcome back to Yacht News, where you may enjoy the most spectacular and up-to-date Yacht News. Before we begin, like and subscribe so that we can welcome you aboard. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, and turn on the bell icon to receive notifications about upcoming videos. Come, let's discover the super women who have mesmerizing super yachts. These remarkable and successful women have excelled in a variety of industries, including businesses, entertainment, athletics, and politics. They have distinguished careers and are also proud owners of some of the most expensive and opulent super yachts in the world. The superwomen super yachts are extremely intriguing and a monument to their success and taste. They range from sleek and futuristic vessels to classic and timeless designs. These super yachts are an integral part of the lives of these superwomen and an extension of their individual style and social position, whether they utilize them for leisure, pleasure, or work. So, let's start with the first one at number one, Arriva, owned by J.K. Rowling. Arriva was sold by Johnny Depp to an American shipping tycoon and acquired by J.K. Rowling for $42.43 million. Rowling is said to have fallen in love with her yacht while chartering it with her husband, Neil Murray, and their two children when it was still called the Amphitrite. Its interior is distinctly bohemian and features a huge 23-meter beam. She had exteriors by Tata Yacht Design and interiors by California design firm L.M. Pagano Design when she was constructed in 2001 by Protoscan Turquoise Yachts. Five chick suites at Arriva can accommodate 10 guests. The aesthetic paid homage to the heyday of yachting when luxuriously made yachts were the pride and joy of the glitzy and wealthy, and the Mediterranean offered the ideal summertime styles to loyalty politicians and Hollywood stars. She has a range of 2,787 nautical miles and a top speed of 14 knots, making her ideal for a week-long excursion along the Riviera. Persian rugs and ruby hue draperies are used in her stunning salon and guest rooms. The exteriors are just as luxurious with lots of deck space and charming details like exterior passengers to the starboard and port sides. On board this opulent ship, visitors are undoubtedly made to feel extremely at home by a friendly nine-person staff. Let's continue with an even more impressive yacht from the next superwoman. Number 2, the Elfie, owned by Wendy Schmidt. Businesswoman and philanthropist Wendy Schmidt is married to former Google CEO Eric Schmidt. She devotes a lot of her time to the Schmidt Family Foundation's 11th Hour Project, which collaborates with communities all around the world to advance the defense of human rights, renewable energy, and ocean health. Elfie, a 46-meter yacht designed by Royal Huisman that is environmentally friendly, was the purchase she made with the environment in mind. Wendy is the skipper of all of her vessels and began sailing in 2007 aboard a 14-meter sloop that she bought on the advice of a friend, and she spent her first summer owning a yacht sailing around Nantucket every day. It's like talking to the wind when you're sailing. The dialogue can be both lovely and frightening at times, Wendy Schmidt said. The 46-meter yacht, which Wendy Schmidt had built for her, was regarded as one of the most exquisite and graceful-looking yachts in the world when it was completed in 2015. It went on to win 10 honors, including two ISS Design Awards. She was created by the well-known Dutch company Royal Huisman and accommodates eight guests in four elegant guest rooms while also accommodating five staff. With a moderate color scheme and lavish fixtures and furniture, the spacious 29-meter beam and teak main deck conceals sophisticated, sumptuous interiors. She floats across the water at a respectable 12 knots thanks to her lightweight but incredibly sturdy aluminum hull and superstructure. If you loved Elfie, then make sure to watch the next one on our list. Number 3, Corinthia VII, owned by Heidi Horton. The richest Austrian woman and owner of the Corinthia 7 is Heidi Horton. She received a $1 billion inheritance from her husband and has been so far able to triple that sum of money. The yacht's interior and exterior designs were handled by British architect Tim Haywood. Among the advantages of the yacht are five curved decks and speed of up to 26 knots on diesel engines. 
The 318-foot Corinthia VII is a frequent visitor of Venice. Corinthia VII is made of a steel with an aluminium superstructure. It's 318.25 feet long, has a beam of 52.50 feet, a draw that is 15.75 feet, and a tonnage of 3,643 GT. Corinthia can travel at a top speed of 26 knots because of the twin screws that are propelled by four MTU-1163 diesel main engines that produce a combined 39,700 horsepower. The Austrian millionaire Heidi Horton hired Tim Haywood, a designer at Lursen Yachts in Bremen, to create the Corinthia 7 as part of Project Fabergé. Its home port was Venice in Italy and it was initially sailed under the Austrian flag. Now let's continue with the yacht from the next superwoman on our list. Number 4. The Maltese Falcon owned by Eleanor Ambrosia Dow Eleanor Ambrosia Dow was the highest paid woman in England in the past who comes from the generally male-dominated field of hedge fund managers. Eleanor's super yacht shouts smart, futuristic and elegant as a decoration of identity and style. With 358 meter masts designed by Dynarig and an award-winning interior and exterior by Ken Freivuk, the Maltese Falcon stands out from the other yachts in the marina and known for its turning heads. The seamless fusion of the inside and outside has been the main goal of the design on board this masterpiece. The Maltese Falcon has spacious exterior areas that effortlessly transition into her interior, giving her the appearance of a motor yacht while also exhibiting the sailing vessel's inherent nautical authenticity. She has unique features like the ability to put up an outdoor outdoor movie theatre on the main deck, comfortable seating all across the ship, and a caring and knowledgeable staff which have made her a charter's favourite. To guarantee that guests on board are continually reminded that this is one of the finest sailing yachts in existence, the inside of the yacht features luxurious finishings and materials. Leather, wood, steel and glass are all expertly used. She combines the classic and the contemporary, the old and the new. While the dedicated reading room, full beam dining room and roomy salon are reminiscent of simpler times, the multiple sea toys and two tenders, including a 10 meter Pasco tender, are included when chartering the vessel. This gives guests all the comforts of a modern superyacht in a glitzy, classical nautical setting. Do you have any clue which superwoman owns the last yacht on our list? At number 5, Eos, owned by Diana von Furstenberg. Any super yacht owned by one of Europe's most successful businesswomen or fashion designers has to be absolutely one of a kind and exhibit a high degree of elegance. No exception applies to the 96 meter Bermuda rigged Schuder EOS. Diana von Furstenberg commissioned the German shipyard Lursen Yachts to construct EOS, a glitzy boat that is a huge for her taste. EOS is a super yacht that can accommodate 16 guests and a permanent crew of 21, so the Belgian designer could make excellent use of the vessel's large size and roomy cabins. A person in the fashion world would benefit greatly from the yacht's undoubtedly extravagant appearance, which seems to be meant for inviting friends and peers on board for an expedition. The exteriors of Langon design are both aesthetically pleasing and practical. A striking dark blue hull gives the boat a commanding appearance on the water, and the traditional nautical colour scheme of the teak deck against the medium dark wood helps it have a pleasant feel. EOS belongs to a different class of superyachts due to the adaptability of well-designed marine architecture. Given that Diana spent 14 years married to a member of the royal family, it is not surprising that EOS exudes luxury. Her extensive network of business acquaintances and friends, which included influential Vogue editor-in-chief Diana Vreeland, helped her become a very successful fashion designer. With her knitted jersey wrap dress, which sold for a whopping $150 million in 1979, Diana had immense success. The Diller von Furstenberg Family Foundation, which supports non-profit organizations for community development, education, human rights, the arts, health, and the environment, was established with her assistance more recently. And that is it for today's video. What do you think about these yachts? Let us know down in the comment section below. Also, let us know your favorite one. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, give it a big thumbs up. Join our channel by subscribing so that we can welcome you aboard for more exciting content. On your screen, select one of these videos, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one.